In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a frame by using various pieces of clip art from ArtCam's Relief Clip Art Library. Here you can see I've opened up the frame clip art art file, and this is what you see when you open that up. Here you can see that I've got some toolpaths marked in red on the outside of this border and I also have some vectors around the edge of this. If I wish to see the relief preview within the 2D view I can just click here to toggle relief preview and that will show me the relief within the 2D view. If I click the 3D view then you can see that we have our relief within there. Select the 3D view by clicking on the tab or press F3 on the keyboard. You come over to the project panel over on the far right hand side under toolpaths there. If you just click the plus sign it will open up and expand the toolpath tree and it shows that there are two toolpaths within there, the machine relief and the profile. You can turn each of these on in turn to preview within the 3D view by selecting the far right hand light bulbs. So there you can see that that's turned on and off toolpath for the profile. I can turn the machine relief on by selecting that light bulb there. So I'm just going to turn these off for the moment. What I'm going to do is to simulate all of these toolpaths. So if I first of all right click on the machine relief and then click simulate toolpath and this is going to give me a simulation of that particular toolpath. I just want to show you what we're going to be creating and then I'm going to simulate the profile so that you can see that that's cut the part out. So we're going to start completely from scratch now so what I'm going to do is right click on simulation and delete that. I'm going to select profile and then select to delete the toolpath. Going to do the same with the machine relief to delete the toolpath. And I'm going to select here to reset the relief. So that's completely got rid of the relief that we had. If I go to the 2D view, you can see I've still got some vectors on there. So I'm going to press Ctrl A just to select all of the vectors and then press delete on the keyboard so we've got a completely blank sheet now and I'm going to start designing all of this within the 3D view so I'm going to first of all create a circle I'm just going to create a circle anywhere on the screen and I'm going to change the radius to 125 millimeters and click create I can press F9 on the keyboard which will centre this circle within the model or I can press here to centre in model and that's placed the circle in the centre of the model. I'm now going to open up the Relief Clip Art Library which is located here. If you just click on the top library you can see we've got lots of relief clip art libraries available within here. So for instance if I go to animals you can see all of the animals that are available within the library. Now there are well over 500 pieces of clip art for you to use in your designs here. So what I'm going to do is come down to greenery and I'm going to choose this leaf 4x3. Now what I'm going to do is to grab that, hold the left mouse button down and then just drag it into the model. Now there you can see that it's automatically loaded the leaf and I can just place that wherever I like. What I'm going to do is resize this. If I press the Alt key on the keyboard it will maintain the aspect ratio for me. If I don't press the Alt key it will all come from the one edge. What I'm going to do is to resize this to around about 50 millimeters. It's not got to be perfect. And then I can either click anywhere outside of the clip art or I can just close the clip art here. So that will get rid of the dialog box. Now, if you've deselected 
the clip art which is in blue this has not been paced down it can still be moved around like so now what you need to do is select the clip art now you can either do that by selecting on the inside or you could select the vector on the outside now what I'm going to do is press shift on the keyboard hold that down and then shift select the circle because what I'm going to do is create multiple copies of this leaf and I'm going to do that by using the paste longer curve tool I'm going to specify a number which is going to be 25 copies and then click paste and then you can see that that's copied all of that around this circle now what I can do is delete the original clip art so if I just select that and press delete I can then delete the original clip art now this is still clip art here it's all grouped together and it's still clip art I could still move that around if I wanted to like so just center that back and now what I'm going to do is to add just a little bit of a decorative effect down the bottom left hand corner so I'm going to use the view along Z which is here and I'll just zoom in on there and what I'm going to use for this is the flower 4 and I'm going to drag that in at the moment it's quite small as you can see so I'm going to make this a lot larger let's make this about a hundred in width let's say like so and I'm going to place this on the bottom left hand corner of the frame it's not got to be accurate this is just giving you an idea of how to work with clip art now if I rotate around you can see that the original leaves are sticking through the new flower now if I were to adjust the Z range this would basically stretch the part out I don't really want to do that because it wouldn't look right so what I'm going to do is drop the Z range down click apply and that drops that down to 5 millimeters in height now if I click here for the relief clip art paste options what I can do here is to add a flush so basically add a start height onto this so I'm going to add a flat for when it pastes this down I need to make sure that this is set to merge height because I want it to blend in with the previous relief here and then I'm going to click paste so if I zoom back out here you can see it's added a height onto this and if I select this blue clip art just press enter and that will paste that down and then I can just delete the original clip art so there you can see that that's added all of that as a relief I can select the circle now and also delete that what I'm going to do now is just to import a few more little flowers just to add around here I'm going to import this flower 12 so I'll bring that in as you can see that that's quite large at the moment so I'm going to make that a little bit smaller let's make it about 60 in width and move that to there I'm going to change the Z range of this let's try 2.5 that looks fine now what you can do with this is that you can copy this particular piece of clip art so if you press control on the keyboard and then select the vector the outline vector for the clip art and then drag that down to the bottom right here and then let go you can see that that's created a copy I could do that again here so there you can see it's created a copy in the center now if I wanted to just rotate this around so it looks a little bit different to the other two flowers what I can do is on the inside of the box you can see I've got four arrow heads if I move that to the outside of the box you can see I get a round arrow this is allowing me to rotate so if I left click outside hold it down and then move around that will allow me to rotate the flower and then I can just move that into the position that I want let's say like so 
Now if I press Control A to select all of the clip art and then press Enter, that will paste all of the clip art down. I can now close the Relieve Clip Art library and here you can see our final frame ready to be machined. So to do this, if I click on Toolpaths and what we're going to do is create a Machine Relieve Toolpath which is down in the bottom right hand side of the screen. So if I click that, opens up a new dialog box. I'm going to do this over the whole of the relief and I'm going to use a 6mm ball nose to finish the part. I'm going to do a raster strategy so it goes across in X, steps over in Y, and then comes back in X. Angle 0, tolerance 0 0.01, no allowance, and the roughing options. I'm going to use the largest cutter that I have, which is a 12mm end mill. And I'm going to again do a raster strategy, tolerance 0 0.04, the allowance I'm going to leave 0.5mm of material onto this for the finishing. The safe Z and home Z are going to be 10, and the material thickness, just going to set that up again. I'm going to set that to be 12 millimeters, and I want the material Z0 to be at the top, and the model position in material to be at the top also. So that's created my material for me. And now I can click calculate now. This will calculate the roughing toolpath. As you can see there, I've got one cut there, and then finally the finishing toolpath. So I can now close that, and I'm just going to toggle off the toolpath visibility by selecting there the light bulbs that turns them on or off. And what I'm going to do now is I need to create an outside edge for this because I want to cut the part out. If I go to the 2D view, you can see. I have no vectors to do this so this would be impossible to do so what I need to do is to come up to here where it says create boundary from relief and what this is going to do it's automatically going to create some vectors for me around the boundary of the relief so if I just click create boundary here you can see that it's created a boundary all the way around the relief now I can close the create vector boundary if that's not showing on your computer, you need to click here to toggle the vector visibility. And that will show the vectors within the 3D view. You can always check by going back to the 2D view and then it shows you the vectors on there. Right, so now we can create a profiling toolpath to cut the part out. So if we create a profile toolpath, if this is not shown, remember to select toolpaths in the project tree and select profile toolpath. Make sure that it's set to the outside and selected vectors. Make sure that the vectors are selected and are in magenta. I'm not going to leave any allowance or final pass thickness or allowance. The start depth is going to be zero. The finish depth is going to cut the part out at 12 millimeters. And the profiling tool that I'm going to use for this is going to be a six millimeter end mill. So just select that there. I'm not going to add lead in or lead out moves or ramping moves. Make sure that the save Z and home Z are set to 10. The material thickness is already set up. So I'm just going to click calculate now. And then you can see it's calculated all of the toolpath for the profile. I can now close the profiling toolpath. And I can right click on the machine relief and simulate the toolpath and click simulate toolpath now I'm going to simulate the profile toolpath so if I right click on the profile and click simulate toolpath you can see that that's simulated the toolpath now if I wanted to send this to someone as an image what you can actually do with ArtCam is go up to Window and save 3D view image. This allows you to save a three-dimensional PDF. Now, 
what you would want to do ideal, ideally would be to get rid of all of this waste material around the edges what you can do to do this is if you click on simulation here we have auto delete waste material but if I select that it will only delete the outside because it doesn't actually know that this is waste on the center so what I need to do is to select delete waste material and then what I can do is pick all of the parts that are waste material so just pick each part that you think is waste and most importantly delete the center there like so so that's just left us with our frame now if you make a mistake let's say for instance I've deleted the center piece and I didn't want to do that just click undo and it will come back and you can just undo through all of those moves that you've just done and delete the waste material again like so you can also do it the opposite way so you can keep the pick material so I'm just going to close that now and finally I'm just going to save the toolpaths to send to my machine so if I click toolpaths and then select save toolpaths here you can see on the right hand side each of the toolpaths that I've generated and I'm going to rename the file name to frame click browse and I'm going to do this on my desktop if I click save toolpaths to separate files it will save each of these toolpaths into its own file so it would have a separate G code for each tool and then you could just load them separately into the machine so if I click the machine file format down here we have over 200 posts available within ArtCam it's more than likely that your machine will be listed here we also have a genetic G code so that's the one that I'm going to be using here and if I click save that will save the three files onto my desktop where I've specified here ready to be sent to my machine